This is a vehicle that's going to change the way we travel in our cities, but not only for the experience of the driver and the passengers that's greatly improved, this is going to improve the air quality for everyone. The passenger experience in the TX eCity is going to be a massive improvement over any vehicle they travel in today throughout our city of London. Not only are they going to have improved ride comfort, not only can we get six passengers in there, have beautiful views of our cities through the panoramic roof, but also it's going to be about a connected vehicle. So you get in the car, there's USB ports to be able to charge your phones. There's even a 230 volt socket. So when you get off the plane and your, your battery's flat on your laptop, you can recharge that. And we'll have internet connectivity in these vehicles. The standout features on this cab over and above its zero emissions capabilities is a much improved environment for the driver. Uh, it's much better in terms of space, in terms of its ergonomics in terms of its functionality. It's a huge step up also for the passenger. You can now take six passengers in comfort with improved uh, knee space between the second and the third row of seats. You have the panoramic roof. And of course, because it's electrically driven, it's much, much quieter. The key thing about this vehicle is the fact that it's zero emissions capable. It's what we call a range extended electric taxi. This cab not only meets the regulations that will be applied in London from the 1st of January next year, it actually is far in excess. The minimum requirement is for 30 miles pure electric range. We will be able to do in excess of 80. So in terms of deliveries into London, we will start late this year. Uh, we will ramp up the number of sales throughout uh, 2018. By 2020, we would expect to see 9,000, almost half of the total population of taxis in London, being converted to the new TXE city. So from the first quarter next year, besides London, we'll also then be going on sale in the rest of the UK. Into the second half of the year, we will start our push for exports. By 2020, we're targeting to have 50% of our production sold overseas.